in a single rate dual token bucket environment, we're looking at these same sources. So we've got these two web servers and we want to police the incoming traffic, but we're going to police it a little bit different. We're going to set up a conform action and then we're going to set up an exceed and then a violate. So that's how we get the dual token bucket. So again, the, the policy or the class map is the same because we're matching these two servers. The policy map, we'll give it that name, but the big difference here is the we're policing to the 512,000K and the conform action. Then we set a IP precedence three to the exceed action and then a violate we drop. That's how we've now instigated a dual token bucket because we've got two. The first one is our conform action. The second is our exceed action. And then last but not least, if you violate, you are dropped. And the same rules apply for that second server. And we've just bumped down some of the, the bandwidth. So it's 256,000 kilobits per second on a conform. So we transmit it. If we exceed, then we set the precedence. We're remarking it down to a three and then violate, drop. So that is what indicates in this policy map that this is a single rate dual token bucket solution.